Doctors and dentists drove this car. I can just get in here. Whoa! Soccer mom monster. Oh my god. Oh man, I'm sweating my balls off. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got another viewer's car. And I have to say that when we got this application, when we got this email, Martijn and I were really happy about that because we absolutely love this car. This is Maurice, his 1997 Volvo 850R and it is freaking awesome. It has been tuned quite a bit by Maurice himself. He has rebuilt the complete engine and uh, well, it's got 230 horsepower more than it used to have. So that is quite a bit. So today I'm going to show you around it, show you all the cool stuff on this car, and then we'll take it for a little drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to receive updates when we upload a new video. And check us out on Instagram if you like, at autotopnl. Okay, so we're going to start with the outside exterior stuff and then we'll move on to the important stuff. So let's start with the outside because, oh, I mean, how cool is that car? This car is so square and so freaking retro. I like it so much. This, of course, is also the car from my youth. I was like seven when this car was built. Uh, the 850R was introduced in 1995 and its stock had 250 horsepower. Uh, before that, there was the T5R with 240 horsepower. And before that, you had the T5 with 225 horsepower. So that is kind of the line for the 850 and the first performance Volvos. I mean, this car was driven by people who really loved fast cars and cars in general and heavily turbocharged cars, but didn't want to be seen in anything less like inconspicuous than a Volvo, you know? Doctors and dentists drove this car uh, because they didn't want to be seen in an M3 or something like that, or an AMG. This was like the cool understated performance car. And Maurice has taken that to a next level while keeping it in the same like philosophy, which I really love. So let's start with the wheels. Uh, we've got Volvo R wheels. These are a bit more modern than the ones that used to be on there, I think. We've got XYZ 355 millimeter six piston caliper brakes. So a big brake kit, because I can imagine that the original brakes would not hold this amount of power and speed with Michelin Pilot Supersport tires. It's also got a BC Racing coilover set, so it's quite a bit lower than stock. Of course, we've got the mandatory Reindeer Volvo, what is that, a Moose Ferrari Volvo badge, really nice. Uh, as you can see, Maurice told us that he's thinking about repainting it, but I don't know, I like it the way it is. I think it's so cool this way, like it's a real sleeper, this car. It's like the definition of a sleeper. It's so freaking awesome. So we've got an 850R badge on the rear and we've got a three inch custom Gorilla exhaust with a 200 cell cat downpipe. And, uh, but he still has two silencers in there. So it's not super crazy loud or anything. That's what I mean by following the Volvo philosophy. And of course, having that square body, you have this really big, this is insane, guys. I can just get in here. It's so big, look at that. That's awesome. Because of the shape, it's so practical. It's almost square. So you have this super accessible loading area for your dogs, probably. And uh, well, let's take a look at the engine because that's what this is all about, of course. So let's take a look. There we go. Look at that. That is not really Volvo-esque, right? That is so extreme. We do have a Swedish flag. Go Sweden, go Volvo. And uh, well, there is a lot of stuff on here. So I have a list because it's just way too much to remember. There we go. So we've got Wiseco forged pistons, BSR forged connecting rods, ARP head and rod bolts, Glyco sputter bearings, shims, standard head with some port and polish done to it. SPEC stage two plus clutch. Tubular manifold. 
Turbo Bandit TB60 01 Billet Turbo. So I guess that is a lot bigger than stock. Where is it? Uh, it's down there. Very cool, that gold insulation tape as well. Uh, we've got a 15 millimeter wastegate, as I said, three inch custom Gorilla exhaust downpipe with 200 cell race cat. Hey, Gorilla, love those guys. Three inch JT Superflow exhaust, DO. Okay, so the, the downpipe is made by Gorilla and uh, the exhaust is JT Superflow. And then we've got a DO88 intercooler and intercooler piping modified, a radiator, external oil radiator and thermostat which I think is down there somewhere. Uh, we've got a four inch air intake, AEM fuel pump, fuel feed, nook fuel rail, QSP fuel pressure regulator. We've got a thousand cc injectors and the brakes and the coilovers. And we've got some extra engine ventilation from head and block into catch can. That's the catch can, I believe. So that looks freaking awesome. I mean, I just love the way this looks and I can't believe that Maurice did this himself. It took him around a, a, a year and a half or two years, he told me, and he, he's not even a mechanic. He's just, he's an IT guy that just happens to be really interested in this kind of stuff. And he built this and it just works really well. So it now delivers 480 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. And it is an absolute riot to drive. I mean, I really, I think this is so cool. If any of you guys out there have cars like this, please send an email to the address, which is on screen now, uh, if you would like it to be featured on our channel, because I absolutely love it. So in here, we've got more blast from the past, nice wood trim here. And we've got a couple of really cool gauges down here. We've got a five speed manual gearbox. And we do have some sort of limited slip diff, but it's like a really basic one, like a, a very simple system um, that regulates torque between the two wheels, but it's, it's not coping very well with this amount of power. Other than that, I mean, it's just a really cool practical car. All right, let's start it up and you will immediately hear a nice little hum. But it's nothing crazy, right? You would expect with all that stuff done to it, that it would sound crazier than this, but the 2.3 liter five cylinder engine, you just have a really nice five cylinder sound. That's awesome. Okay. So we're going to take it for a little drive. It is quite hot out. So I'm going to open the windows a bit because Maurice got rid of the AC. And you can hear the sound a bit better as well. So it's got that other clutch, that new upgraded clutch. So it's, it's quite challenging sometimes to drive. And uh, well, are we going to take the tunnel? Yes, we are. Oh no, there are horses. Never mind. We're going to go right. And then second gear, okay, two and a half thousand RPM. Yeah, I'm going to floor it right here. Nothing, nothing. Whoa, four and a half thousand. <laughs> it goes absolutely metal and it just wants to take off either to that direction or that direction. I don't know because I'm trying to keep a hold of it, but it is. Oh, it is hilarious. So I think this is actually the car with the most, the biggest turbo lag we've ever driven. That's insane. You have to be, you have to like look ahead <laughs> quite a lot to be able to time your full throttle. There we go. Oh, man, it's quick. Oh, you, you really don't expect it. And then suddenly you've got this insane wave of torque and and sound and turbo i mean that wastegate oh oh that is just lovely okay little tunnel 
second gear. We have to time that corner, flooring it. <laughs> oh my God. Maurice, what have you done? You have built a monster, but it's like a very retro cool Volvo soccer mom monster. It is the ultimate 850 for me. I mean, on the outside, you wouldn't really say that it has been tuned this much other than the fact that it is so much lower and you've got those bigger wheels on it. But then when you drive it, it is just such a joy. It brings a smile to my face I haven't had in a long time, honestly. Oh, it moves around quite a bit. So I think that that limited slip diff thing really doesn't know what to do with the power, you know? Like it's, it's sending it left and right and it's thinking, oh, where, where can I put this power? Sneller than a modern day RS4. Ja. 9,7. So here we are at the Autobahn.260 on the speed <laughs> oh it is so much quicker than you think because you don't really hear anything it's it's pretty quiet oh what an awesome thing okay full throttle fourth gear there we go i think it will run around 7000 rpm but look at this thing go It runs really well. It's very smooth as well. As, as soon as you get going, like at lower speeds and around town, it's, it's, it's a bit of a handful, but once you get going, it's super smooth. And it's really fast too. We actually measured a 9.57 run, 100 to 200 kilometers an hour with this, which is faster than a modern day Audi RS4. We should have installed the dragging for a GPS speedo because I don't know how fast that is, but that was already almost the end of the of fifth gear. So it should be around 270, 270 kilometers an hour. I think maybe 275 is the end of the gearbox. But man, what a freaking riot. You just don't expect it to to be this like civilized and fast at the same time. The brakes feel a bit rough, but I feel like if you put some pressure on them, they, they actually like that better. <laughs> oh man, I'm sweating my balls off. <laughs> this is something else. As you can see, it's a bit hot for this car today. It's 34 degrees, as you can see, uh, right there. Uh, so I'm keeping an eye on this oil temperature gauge, but it does struggle a bit with all that power. So I'm going to take it easy, be nice to the car because this is my new buddy. Absolutely love it. Martijn keeps telling me that this car suits me really well. 
Like Cinderella, buddy. <laughs> Love me some Cinderella. All right. 90 degrees, we're going to take it easy. Oh, man, oh man. I love these kinds of surprises, you know. Someone emails us and says, I have a, a Volvo 850R with a built plug. Then he tells me he did it all himself and then it, it runs and drives like this. I mean, are you kidding me? I, I'm so proud of you, Maurice. You've done so well. Really good job. Thank you so much for taking your car to us. Absolutely love it. So much fun. The turbo lag is hilarious. The performance is really, really good. And it's super practical too. I mean, how nice is this to have as your daily? Like you can throw anything in here. You don't have to worry about scratches and stuff like that. I love it. Awesome car. So the oil temp is going down now. And uh, well, we are back at the gas station. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you the next one, guys. Bye.